Hi, it's Christopher Hunt from the Colonian Ranch, and today we're going to be unboxing turtles. Uh, more specifically, the Coro Flavo Marginatas, or the Chinese box turtles. Um, these just came in today from the Turtle Survival Alliance, um, who have been gracious enough to loan us five of these turtles uh, so that we can start a future breeding project. So let's open these up and uh, take a look and see what we got. This will be our paperwork. Oh. If I can get it open. There we go. Oh, beautiful. This is a small, this is a uh, hatchling male Chinese box turtle. Look at that, it's beautiful. Now the Chinese box turtles, or scientifically known as Coro Flava Marginatas, are um, endemic to central uh, China. And uh, these little guys prefer uh, humidity levels around mm, 55 to 60% on up to about 70% humidity. Um, which is why they uh, are transported with this uh, wet moss in here. It's damp, keep their humidity levels up. And uh, just like other box turtles, they eat uh, snails, insects, uh, worms, veggies. They are omnivorous, so they will eat uh, plant and animal matter as well. Beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and check on another one just to see how it's doing. So they've loaned us three females and one male. And so the way it works is these turtles are on loan to us forever um, until they request them back. And uh, we raise them and then uh, we keep track of all of the, the turtles that breed. Uh, and I'm sorry, they gave us four females and one male. I apologize. Um, and we keep, uh, you know, um, we raise them up and, and breed them once they get old enough and mature enough. And then we get to keep part of the hatchlings, 50% of the hatchlings, so that we can continue um, breeding them on our own. But these uh, five turtles that they've given us do belong to the Turtle Survival Alliance, and uh, we're just stewards to uh, take care of them. It's a little female. Now, the Chinese box turtle, right now, you can't really tell because of the size, but um, it is a box turtle, so it does have a... Uh, plastral hinge that it will be able to um, move and actually pull itself into its shell like other box turtles do as well. This little gal's a little bigger. Still a beautiful hatchling. Look at that. Gorgeous. So what I'm going to do here in just a little bit, once I uh, check on the last bit of the turtles here, is I am going to uh, give them a soak, even though they've been in um, uh, this wet moss, the sphagnum moss here. Um, I am going to still give them uh, a soak just to make sure that they are, in fact, fully hydrated. And I'll probably offer them a little bit of food before I put them in their permanent enclosures. So I want to thank the uh, Turtle Survival Alliance for entrusting us um, with these uh, five hatchlings. And, uh, you know, we're going to take care of them. We're going to um, do our best to make sure that they're all... Uh, they're going to be we very well taken care of. Um, and yeah, we're just very grateful for them entrusting us um, with their care. So thank you to the Tur Turtle Survival Alliance. And uh, keep an eye out for uh, more videos. I'm going to show you their uh, permanent setup and enclosure once I get it uh, set up. I'll get that done here in just a little bit today. And then I'll be putting out a video on uh, proper care and, and housing of these little guys. So um, like and subscribe if this helps you out. Uh, and uh, 
keep an eye on our channel for more. Thanks.